Okay, so today I'm going to be trying to add volume to my locks using micro locks extensions. I was waiting until my hair was black because the extensions are pitch black and with my natural hair color it just wasn't blending at all. So let's get into it. These are the extensions. I got them off of Amazon. I'm pretty sure I linked them on my Amazon storefront. I made these wefts myself. It took forever to get them sewn on and to get the clips on but I did make them myself and I have like a whole bunch here. So what I actually need to do obviously is cut them to match my hair. So I think I'm going to keep it in the side part and add them this way. Let's just start with this piece I think at the front here. It might be slightly cooler but I don't know if you could tell on camera. Okay so this is what my hair looks like before. I do have pretty dense hair already, but obviously everyone wants thicker hair. So I just want to try this out and see if these extensions work. I'm just going to split my hair and then I'm going to just add the extension in and secure it. And then put this back over. And then I'm going to cut the extensions. That definitely added some volume there for sure. So that one. Now I'm gonna flip that all over. This one has curls in it. I think I curled this with a curling iron. Let me just spray it. Try to stretch the curl out. In case you're wondering, you can, look at that, you can curl these with hot tools. Okay, let's just add this piece here, right here. And then I'm gonna cut it again. Okay, that did something. Look how much bigger it is here. It doesn't match per perfectly, but like the color. All right, I have some of these braided because so I was, I think I was just experimenting with styles. I haven't shown you guys these extensions at all, but I think I made these like last year. I want to add like one big piece across the back. So let's use this big one. This has like three clips on it. I'm just gonna cut it. Another one right there. Now this side, let's use the two clip. It's 
not the best placement because I have one right here. So I think I'll do it here. Okay, and then cut again. Flip it back over. Whoa, do you see how much volume that added? Imagine having hair this thick. Okay, so I can probably do one more here. Like right here, because I'm doing a side part, it gives me like more flexibility almost. So I think right here, maybe right here. I think another two clip one. This one has curls in it. Maybe this one. This is a one clip. Okay, this is a two clip. It's braided though. Secure it. And then I'm gonna cut this part first. Make sure to not cut your actual hair. <laughs> Luckily, my hair is damp. The extensions are completely dry, so I can tell the difference. Also, there's a slight color difference. Cut that on an angle so that it matches like the natural um, angle I have. And then we're gonna put it back over. Whoa. Wait. This is crazy. I hope it's covered in the back. Okay. Wow. Look at the volume. Okay, I'm gonna show you before. And this is after. Do you guys see the difference? I can't even do a ponytail, there's so much hair. Wow. Let me do a 360. Okay, so that was quick and easy. Honestly, this was so much fun to try out. I've been wanting to put these um, DIY extensions to the test for a while now, but obviously my hair didn't match and I think it just looks better with a bob, to be honest. But yeah, this is the final look. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Have you guys ever tried DIY micro lock extensions or any type of extensions in your locks? Let me know. I love this because it's not permanent um, at all. I can just remove it and it just adds a nice volume. Increase my density by like 100%. <laughs> Let me know what you guys think of this video and I will see you in my next one. Bye.